Uvracha from Yerushalayim, Yer HaKodesh. With the help of Hashem, we continue our study of Pirkei Avot, the joint study of the ethics of the fathers. This is chapter 2, Mishnah 13, part 2. Perek Bet, Mishnah Yud Gimel, and this is the second session of the Mishnah. Mishnah 13 of chapter 2, part 2. Last week, last class, we studied together the question that was posed by the leading Rav of the time, the head of the generation, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, who asked each of his closest disciples to return with a plan of an all-encompassing formula of the best way to properly live. He's looking for that special derech, he wants that special pathway, which will be the all-encompassing pathway of proper behavior. And uh, t- last week we studied the response, the first response of his student. Tonight, with the help of Hashem, we study Rabbi Yehoshua's answer to Rabbi Yochanan's question. Rabbi Yehoshua Omer, Chaver Tov, the greatest pathway for an individual to pursue. If you want to cling to a value which will bring you to all the greatest values in the world, try to attach yourself to the pathway of good friendship. Chaver Tov. Finding a good friend will lead a person to every form of spiritual success and spiritual perfection. We remember in uh, Aristotle, Aristotelian teaching, Aristotle taught man by nature is a social animal. This idea was developed many, many times, many, many different places. And in all of our Jewish sources, we find similar concepts even earlier than Aristotle. Uh, Rambam, if you remember, he, he studied this principle and he codified it in his Hilchot Deot in the Mishneh Torah, and he writes there, uh, the sixth chapter of Hilchot Deot, the, the way of an individual, the pathway of a person in this world is, they are influenced by their friends. A person is impacted, is affected by the people that they spend time with. Derech b'yato shel adam liot nimshach b'deotav uvimaasav achar re'av achavirav, writes Rambam. Both the, the, their philosophy of life, their actions, their activities will be influenced by their friends. Lefichach, therefore he recommends, Sarich Adam lehitchaber tzadikim. Make sure you, make sure you're close. Make sure you're uh, you befriend. Make sure you associate closely with proper people, with righteous people. Viyitrachek min harishayim, and stay as far away as possible. Of course, if a person is trying to positively influence someone that uh, you can't stay away from, from uh, people who are not doing proper things. Otherwise, this world would be very limited in uh, its scope of influence. But it means in terms of choosing a friend, try to choose a friend who is proper. And when Rabbi Yehoshua taught, Chaver Tov, he meant to formulate for us a, a program of how to succeed. In uh, one place in the Gemara, in Masachet Ta'anit, we have an expression, O Chavruta, O Mituta. O Chavruta, O Mituta. It seems that the Gemara is teaching that a life of a person alone, without a friend, is a form of a lifeless existence. It's a form of death. Mituta. If a person is blessed to have a good friend, Chaver Tov is what Rabbi Yoshua is speaking about, he or she will be able to have in their own lives a positive influence which will help them and guide them. Living models for proper levels of behavior. As the great Rav in the Gemara taught, Harbei. Torah lamarti me rabotai. I studied a great deal of Torah from my rabbis and my teachers. 
ומחבריי, יותר מהם. I learned more from my friends than I learned from my rabbis, from my teachers. Now, in most cases, a person's friends know less than their rabbis do. So what do you mean he learned more from his friends than from his rabbis? His rabbis were more learned. It's true, but there's a certain barrier. There's a certain distance that often people feel between the student and the teacher. A person is, is blessed uh, with a chaver tov, the kind of which Rabbi Yehoshua is teaching us here in Pirkei Avot. Such an individual will be able to constantly discuss issues with that person. The barriers that often exist between students and teachers, between Talmidim and Rabbanim, between students trying to seek counsel, and oftentimes they're embarrassed to discuss this question. They don't want to show how ignorant they are, or they don't want to, or they don't want to discuss this particular uh, philosophical query that they have, this issue that's troubling them. So they talk to their friends. But if you don't have a friend, Chaver Tov is the answer to the challenge that was presented by Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Earlier in Pirkei Avot, in the first chapter, we learned together the importance of Kenei Lecha Chaver. Acquire for yourself a friend. Try to find a friend. It's not so easy, but try to find, find a friend. And it could be that the greatest friend that a person can find is often their spouse. A person who's privileged to, to be married to a chaver tov or a chavera tova, that's the ultimate chaver. Because that's a person who's constantly there for them and with them. Sameach de samach re'im. We say at every wedding, at every sheva brachot. We refer to the to the Chatan uh, Kala Re'im, maybe close levels of friends. Tonight is my father-in-law, a yard site, my beloved father-in-law, Rav Moshe Chaim, Ben Rav Yaakov Mordechai Lustig, Zatzal. Tonight is the uh, yard site on the 20th of Sivan. And uh, I often heard from my beloved mother-in-law who left this world not that long ago during this past year. She said to me often about her relationship with her husband. She said, not only did I love him, I liked him. And he was my best friend. And he was my best friend. If a person can reach the level of a connection of a chaver tov within the bond of marriage, that's a tremendous accomplishment. I believe it was in Sefer Cheshbon HaNefesh. I think it's Sefer Cheshbon HaNefesh where he has a a program for self-improvement, how to work on improving one's character traits, working on how to improve one's midot. And he suggests there, he says, well, the best way to do this is if you can get a friend to work on it together with you. Chavruta, we have this whole concept of chavruta. A a study partner is generally referred to as chavruta. Chavruta means means a friend, but chavruta, we, we use the term uh, in terms of every yeshiva, major every major yeshiva in the world, uh, I don't know if there's a major yeshiva, a minor yeshiva, all the yeshivas are major, but in every in every yeshiva in the world, uh, they have this concept of studying studying with partners, um, a very fascinating method of study, where one challenges the other, one responds to the other's questions, one poses issues of a- analysis, but it's fascinating that in the Sefer, for Tikkun Hamidot, for improving one's character trait, he says, well, it's difficult to work on various levels of, of personality improvement, of character improvement. See if you can get a good friend to work on it with you. Chaver Tov. That's what Rabbi Yeshua is teaching us here in Perkei And then he says, and if that friend could be your wife, I think he's addressing the book primarily to men. He says, if that, if that friend could be your wife, how fortunate indeed are you? You can work on the tikkun hamido with that chavera tova with your best friend. In the book of Malachi, in the book of Malachi, in the second chapter of Malachi, he refers to the relationship of marriage. He, he refers to the marriage bond. When he's speaking about uh, 
the bride's connection to the groom, the wife's connection to the husband. He says, Vihi Vihi she is your chavera. So maybe chaver tov, according to one interpretation, could mean that. I did learn that maybe when Rabbi Yoshua is saying the, the proper level, the highest level of uh, activity that Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai wants us to find, asked each of his students to find, and ultimately each of us is supposed to find in his or her own life, maybe chaver tov does not only mean go out there and find a chaver tov, maybe it means you should become a chaver tov. Maybe that's one of the greatest accomplishments in the world. You know, not he should be a chaver tov, she should be a chaver tov. No, you! You know, you, know, you, know, you know how to improve yourself? You know how to probably... Are you a chaver tov? Do you extend yourself to other people? Do you care about other people? Are you, are you celebrating their accomplishments? Are you, are you, are you commiserating with, with them and their difficulties? Are you a chaver tov? Well, maybe according to Rabbi Yehoshua, that's the ultimate level. And we learned this evening of the teachings of Rabbi Yehoshua. We pray that each one of us, each one of the people joining us on YouTube, all the people of Am Yisrael, wherever they may be, and the entire world, that every single person should be able to find that Chaver Tov, which is, will help each of us, each of them, each of everyone, everyone in the world, to reach higher and higher and higher levels of closeness to God and a perfected life in the most all-encompassing of nature. That's Rabbi Yoshua's response. And each of us should take his words seriously and try to fulfill Chaver Tov. Thank you so much for listening. Shalom.